Good morning, families, and welcome to our Kids at Bay Area Sunday Special. For this week with gratitude, I'm specifically thankful for all of our amazing pastors at Bay Area. You know, with our pastors and our church family, we should never shy away from showing just how thankful we are to God for everything He's doing for us. Even if that means having some awesome dance moves, which reminds me of a great story. A long time ago, King David and a group of young men decided to bring the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem to keep it safe. The Ark of the Covenant was a large and beautiful box covered in gold. It held the Ten Commandments along with other items that reminded the Israelites of God's faithfulness to them. God's power surrounded the Ark. Moving it from one place to another required extreme care. King David recruited 30,000 men to help him move the ark. They loaded the ark onto a cart and pushed it all the way to Jerusalem. While they moved the ark, David and the men celebrated with all their might. They made a joyful noise to the Lord with all kinds of instruments. When they brought the ark into the city of David, the streets were filled with shouts and the sound of trumpets. King David was so excited about the Ark's arrival in Jerusalem that he was dancing in the streets like crazy. His wife, Michal, saw this from a window and was unhappy with David's leaping and dancing. Later at home, Michal was waiting for David. She was disappointed and angry. She told David that the king of Israel should know better than to dance in the streets like crazy. But David was not embarrassed. He told her that he was dancing for the Lord and it didn't matter what anybody said or thought. He was going to celebrate because God had done so much for him and the Israelites. David danced to show his gratitude. Hey everyone, what an awesome story we just heard. It was so cool how King David wasn't ashamed or embarrassed at all to share with everyone that he was worshiping God. He was thankful to God for all that God had done for him. He sang and he danced, and there, was, there were even musical instruments. So I have my friend Amelia here with me, and we're gonna share what we're thankful for. Amelia, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my mommy and Gibby. That's so great! And is your Gibby your grandma? Yes. That's awesome. Well, I'm thankful for my cats and my husband. I love cats. That's cool, me too. Well, just like King David danced, I think we should show our gratitude dances. Can you show me your gratitude dance? That is so good. Here's mine. Very good. And we have some of our friends who sent in their gratitude dances as well. Want to check them out? Yes. Well, I'm thankful for chocolate milk. And let me tell you why. I never get chocolate milk except when my grandkids come. And when my grandkids come, that means they get chocolate milk and I get chocolate milk and I get to spend time with them. And that makes me very happy. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for that God made me the way I am. I'm thankful for fall because the leaves change, it gets colder outside, and football. I'm thankful for everyone on this planet, Earth, and, and I'm thankful for, for you, Mommy, and you, Hoppy. Oh, wow, what a great question. I'm thankful for so many things, but the things that come to mind are my family. So thankful for them and, and the beautiful fall weather. I love the changing colors on the leaves and, and that it's cool enough that we can have fires. I'm so thankful that fall is finally here. I'm grateful for my daddy. I'm thankful for my dad. Wow, those were some amazing dance moves. Special thank you to all of our pastors for getting down and boogieing, and all of you families out there. 
We hope you have an amazing week and we'll see you next Sunday.